Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is it's either Major Arcana or a card card, court card. Which one do you think? Do, 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 do. I can tell you this, it's not balance. It's a Major Arcana card. The mirror. And ironically, the hooded man just dropped off. So, um, you know, the mirror shows our inner reflections with what's going on, okay? And the hooded man has you look within. Okay, so, you know, when you hold up the mirror to yourself, this is who you truly, you know, this is who you truly see that you are, all right? But the interesting thing around this, yesterday was the king of vessels, the heron. And now he pops up again, all right? within that mirror. Let me see if I can get my finger out of the way. So, you know, there's some, there's some visionary things going on here. And, you know, yesterday we talked about what this Heron card stands for, and it's, he's a mediator of, for the souls on their journey. And as you look at this card, the mirror, you know, there's a soul right there in that boat trying to get across to the island, you know, and, you know, being escorted to, you know, the other world from, from this world. And there you got the heron with this, with this pouch around his neck. All right. And um, the deeper awareness and, um, how do I want to say it, and wisdom that comes from our journey of, you know, letting things go, uh, becoming more balanced, all right, um, balance in our workplace, balance in our emotions, balance in, um, you know, looking within, balance, balance with our spirit. A lot of times we have to let something go. Let it go to die or let it go to, um, you know, not bother us anymore. You know, just kind of put it in a balloon and, and let it fly away. And that's what that soul stands for. It doesn't have to be a physical soul. It could just be an item that we want to let go and, and, and just, you know, let it go. You know, let it float down that river. Let it get to the other side. Let it be dead. All right. And as the journey tells us, you know, with the ravens on that elk, you know, anything that's dead will give life to us anyway. So, you know, the King of Vessel shows up at a time yesterday to ask us where we need to be more tolerant. And when we look in the mirror, we have a tendency to beat ourselves up. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Okay, and what that does is that puts um, a different framework in our head. Okay, we start getting a little guilty about things. We, we start, you know, getting that fear and, and doubt and, you know, maybe our self-esteem starts to drop down. And usually that occurs after a pain or a wound. And, you know, we want to we want to get away from everybody. We want to make that trip to the island. The orb that the, that the serpentine figure is holding is the shadows of our inner life. Just as the hooded man shines a light on those inner fears and doubts. The mirror card is really twofold. One, it shows us who we truly are to ourselves, all right? And if we look into the orb, we see, you know, the, the innermost thoughts, the innermost feelings, the, you know, the innermost child or adult that's in there, the shadows of our inner life. That's what this says. Okay. As with all of, all of the major arcana cards, Crossing to this island is going to take patience, prudence, and trust. To walk into that grave where the, where the shamanic polar bear is guarding, we need to be patient. We need to have trust and a little bit of prudence. We talked about balance enough that in order to become balanced in the aspects that, you know, you're trying to become balanced in, you have to be patient. All right. The sun of life. 
you know, it's a, it's a rainy day here today. I, you know, we have to be patient when the weather's bad to get filled up, right? We have to have trust that the sun is going to fill us back up. The process of trust is surrendering your will. Surrendering it to the point where you have to look deep within. And you have to ask yourself the questions of, you know, what valuable insights can you learn? You might not get the answer you like. You may get the answer you like. All right? It may not come right off the bat. You know, you may open yourself up to the universe and ask for those answers. And you'll sit there and listen. But again, you have to be patient. And you have to have trust that the universe is going to give you that answer. Whether you pick it up intuitively or whether you pick it up psychically, all right? Watch your dreams and visions. Watch the messages that are out there. You know, and you've got that page of bows that's out there. You know, and he's, he's usually a deliverer of messages, okay? Don't force the issue with the mirror when you're looking within. Let it come naturally. Let it come from your soul. Let it come from your spirit. Let it come from the universe. And let, let spirit and intuition discern where the healing begins. Where do you need to be healed? Where do you need to be healed with a, with a judgment? You know, where do you need to be healed to move forward in balance? You know, what do you need to push through in order to be healed with that Knight of Stones? You know, is somebody offering you that opportunity with that Page of Bows to be healed? Once the healing begins, then the journey starts taking on a different aspect. Your steps become lighter, okay? The goal becomes more aspiring, right? Um, I listened to an astrologer today, and, you know, with, with Mercury going retrograde, it's going to, you know, for, for the sign of cancer, you know, it's going to feel like the next three weeks you've got a stuffed up head. And sometimes when we're walking on our journey, we do have a stuffed up head. You know, we have so much going on in here, we just can't clear it out. And yet the mirror will have us look in the mirror and say, Who are you? What do you plan to do today? You know, besides just, you know, putting on makeup or shaving or anything like that, take a chance just to look in the mirror and see you, who you for who you truly are. Maybe look into that orb a little bit and see, you know, what those fears and doubts are. And then, you know, step back and look at yourself and just say, where am I at on my journey? Reflect a little bit. You know, as you're holding up that mirror, maybe you can see what's, what's over your shoulder. And sometimes that's good to look back at, you know, where you've come from. Look back over the last month. Look back over the last year. You know, last year at this time, we were all locked in. A lot of people invested in themselves during that time. A lot of people learned how to work from home to keep a paycheck coming in. You know, a lot of people, you know, sat at home and had paychecks come in anyway. You know, they binged watch and, you know, they, they did whatever they, you know, had to do to keep sane. But everybody's journey is different. And once you look into the mirror and you realize where you're at on your journey, it's a new awakening that happens. You know, a new awareness that comes out. An energy that it's ready to deal with the world and its challenges. An energy, you know, that is there to fill you up. Like that son of life. You know. Like the horse, what's holding you back from moving forward? Don't let those fears and doubts hold you back. If anything, be like that page of bows. Engage with them. You know, work on your weaknesses as well as your strengths. As you're looking in that mirror. And then, you know, when you look in the mirror, you have to ask yourself the question. Who's depending on you for support? 
family, friends, society, your community? Who's depending on you? And are you doing enough? So look in that mirror and see who you truly are and enjoy the journey that you're on. Don't get frustrated by it. Like I said, work on those strengths and weaknesses. There you have it. That's today's card, the mirror. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.